is a video review of the Zoom Groom by Kong. I like that it's very sturdy. I've had it for several months and I have no issues with it. As you can see, it's pretty flexible. And I like that I can stick it in my pocket and not get scratched by brush bristles. Although it is kind of bulky to fit in a pocket. I don't know if it's a plus or a minus, but when I'm combing the dogs or brushing the dogs, the hair doesn't stay in the brush. In a way, that's a plus because it's not hard to clean because the fur doesn't go into the teeth. But also in a way, that's a minus because if you're grooming your dog in the house, then a lot of the fur is going to come out on the floor or the sofa or the bed, depending on where you're grooming. This is Lupe. I'm not sure of her breed. People have said she looks like a Basenji. Others have said she looks like a Belgian Melanoir. Her fur is kind of in between the two. It's longer than a Basenji, but shorter than a Belgian Melanoir. And she does have an undercoat. And you might be able to see here that there are a few hairs on the brush that can easily be pushed out. and But most of the hair is coming off on the dog. It doesn't really grip the hair, but it does come out. This is Puddin. She sort of looks and acts like a Dotson Beagle mix. But her fur is thicker than a Dotson or a Beagle. It's kind of lavish light, but not as thick and long as a lab. And she does have an undercoat. With any grooming instrument, you want to introduce it to your dog slowly. Let them examine it and check it out. And start out with maybe just one stroke and a treat. And progress from there. It seems that it gets more of their top coat than it does their undercoat. And I prefer to brush out the undercoat instead of the top coat. Unless these actually are loose hairs that were supposed to come up. I hope it's not pulling hairs off that were not supposed to come off. I guess some people are saying these brushes are supposed to be good for lathering up the dog or working in shampoo. But I don't tend to use shampoo on my dogs and I haven't used them in the bath at all. This is Murphy. He sort of looks like a giant skipper key. Or maybe a spitz mix. And it's not his shedding season, so I'm not sure if this will do better for him when he's shedding more. But I'm not getting much of anything off of him. Well, some dandruff coming up. As you can see, it makes sort of a staticky sound as I'm brushing it through. And it's the winter time, so that might be it. But it doesn't seem to bother him at all. Yeah, hardly any loose fur. There's a picture of what it looks like going into my pocket. I've noticed a lot of grooming aids or grooming tools have a little hole on one side. And it makes it convenient to carry because you can put maybe a clip through it and hook it to your belt loop if you want to carry something around easily. This has no such hole, but I guess one could be drilled in. It's pretty easy to grip. It has the crinkles around the edges. But I find that the type of brushes have handles to be easier to grip. I'm only going to give this an overall three. I like that it seems to be sturdy doesn't seem to break or wear. I like that it's easy to clean if it needed cleaning. But I'm disappointed that I'm not getting any undercoat when I use this. And although my dogs don't seem to mind the Zoom Groom, I don't get the impression that they like it any better than the other tools.